y'all jamie alexander here um i just got off of a little workout went out in the back did some jump rope got some sun whatever i needed to do but that's not what this video is about as titled i'm gonna show you guys especially those of you who are in los angeles california how to get in touch with unemployment office um i did it i was successful and here's what you need to do this will be a quick video. Listen, listen good, because it's not easy, but it's easy. So first of all, they open at 8 a.m., right? So I made sure to be up by 745 just to be ready. Set aside some hours, because you're gonna need some hours. Don't frustrate yourself by trying to have too much to do. It's going to take you hours to get a hold of the unemployment office, EDD. So you will get up um, by 7.55, just start dialing. I just wanted to give myself a head start. They don't open till eight, okay? The number is 800-300-5616. How do I know that so well? Because I dialed it 400 times. Yes, you heard me correctly, 400, like a psycho. Redial, 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 400 times, 400 times I called the number, okay? So again, this is not for the faint of heart. You ain't gonna call two or three times and oh my God, I can't get a hold of them. First tip, there will be a guy with a softer, kinder voice that says, thank you for calling EDD, da 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 da. His tone's like that. Thank you for calling, blah, blah, blah. That's not the guy you want. Hang up on that guy. He's just gonna talk and then it's gonna hang up on you anyway. It's an answering machine. The guy you want is the deeper voice dude that's like, Welcome to the EDD, da, 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 da. Bingo, you're in, okay? This is the actual automated system where you can actually get to a person. So when you hear that guy, um, welcome to EDD, da, 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 let him talk, and then hit one for English. Now, what I'm gonna do in the bottom of this is in the comments, I'm gonna leave you two web pages that leave you hacks on how to get a hold, because there's codes, right? If you're gonna press one to get English, I believe it was like, after you get English, there'll be a woman who talks, then the guy will start talking again. Then if you press 627, it'll tell you that it's going to get you to an operator. If you press one, two, one, one, seven, it'll get you to an operator. Um, so there's all these different codes. Again, I'm gonna put the hacks below because I had to use quite a few of them before any of them worked. The hack code that worked for me was 511. So after the guy's like, welcome to EDD, da, 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 you press one, then you're gonna hear a woman talk and say something, and then the guy is gonna come back. This is when you start to use the codes. And it's not like a secret code, it's just dial five if you got this, one if you got that, one if you got that. So I dialed five, which was four employers. Then I dialed one and I dialed one again. You know, again, I'm telling you all this took hours, so don't get discouraged. Just put the time aside for it and you'll be fine. So like I said, the code that worked for me was after I got English, dialing five for employers, then one and one. Next tip, when you hear hold music, you are on the right path, like celebrate, okay? Because there will be many of times that you'll try these codes and it will say, sorry, our system is, full or something whatever try again later and it will hang up on you and you have to call 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 until you not get the thank you for calling edd but until you get the welcome for calling ED, that guy so um it will hang up on you a couple of times don't get discouraged when you get hold music you're starting to win one very important thing i can tell you is after you go through the hold music it might go for 30 minutes after you go for the hold music there you'll get dead air don't hang up on this dead air i had dead air for about 25 minutes but you can hear it it sounds like dead air it doesn't sound like somebody hung up you'll be very clear if it hung up if the system hung up on you if you hear nothing just stay on the line i got through y'all after after hours, after 400 calls, I woke up, I got from 7.55 a.m. by 10.45 a.m. I had my answers. A woman um, answered the phone and I was so thrown off. I think I was using the bathroom because I just had it on speaker for so long. I was like, oh, 
So make a list of what you want to ask. So by the time you finally get there, you get all your questions asked, answered. I had a list of all my questions before I called because I didn't want to forget or because it's too much work to get a hold of these people. So you don't want to forget anything. So have a list of your questions available and ready to go because it might throw you off guard by the time they actually answer the phone. She was extremely informative. Um, they know their stuff to a T. Currently, you can quit your job if you feel unsafe due to the coronavirus, um, which was my situation. I had to leave because they really weren't honoring the six foot rule. My manager had people in her office. There's people coming in and out. The tenants were complaining about, you know, cleaning. Um, they didn't have Lysol wipes. They were putting me at different stations. They didn't provide masks until the day I left. You know, there were all these things and I'm in Uber 10 times a week, working 40 hours a week for a place that doesn't really have the traffic like that. So I was just feeling extra susceptible and worried like who's at my desk when I'm not here if y'all are doing all this switching around even though I let you know the CDC specifically asked that we essential businesses don't share workstations so it just got gross um there was also somebody who was um who contracted the coronavirus that lived in the bill it's just a lot so I did not feel safe and I put all of that in my thing so what they said is if you quit your job under normal circumstances, it would have to be a real extreme case, but usually when you file for unemployment, you get a, a hearing, uh, a, an interview call. They're bypassing the interview calls right now. So that means if you quit your job, you can apply for unemployment and you'll get it, okay? Now, when all this is over, and if they come back to your case and feel like your reason is not just to receive it, they'll either cut it off or give you the opportunity to appeal. In my case, I will appeal by showing the evidence that I have of it being unsanitary and me the reasons why I was scared. So if you feel like you need to quit under certain to have your, you know, have your um, evidence ready just for later down the line in case they ask. If you get the appeal, cool, you'll continue to get your benefits. If you don't get the appeal, they'll cut your benefits off. The one question that they cannot answer right now because they don't have an answer for it is if they think the reason you filed is not just they will, um, I don't know if you'll have to pay the money back. Nine times out of 10, no, because usually let's say you get unemployment insurance and then you start working a job and then you think you can collect two more little checks from unemployment while you're working. They will find out and you will have to pay that money back. Don't play EDD, don't play them. They will, they, they will find out and they will ask for their money back. So in this case, if they find that the reason you quitting wasn't good enough, they don't know if they're gonna charge you or ask for the money back. I highly doubt it, so I went ahead and did it anyway. Um, but that's just something that they told me when I called and asked, because that was my particular situation. Anyway, I hope you guys have all the information that you need to move forward. Again, I'm going to put two links below to people who have formulated like hacks and then you can follow that stuff. I did, it worked for me. Again, please be reminded that I called 400 times. It took three hours, but it was worth it. I got the information that I needed. This is not a time to play games on that. So I hope you found a lot of value in this video. Let me know and um, yeah, be encouraged on this journey.